Welcome. So let us tackle these questions. So we've been told identify which of the following pairs of lines are perpendicular. So the one thing that you're supposed to know that when two lines are perpendicular, if you multiply their gradient, you're supposed to get negative one. So if this is the gradient of this one is m1 and the gradient of this one is m2, if you multiply m1 times m2, you're always supposed to get negative one if they are perpendicular. So let us find the gradient of this one. So for us to find the gradient of this one, we just write this one in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So this it is in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So then I'm having 2y is equals to x plus 3. So to rearrange it this way, you just divide everything by, by 2. So we're going to have y is equals to uh, 1 over 2x plus 3 over 2. So that is the, the equation rearranged in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. Do the same with this one here. Arrange it in that form. So already it is in that form because if you check, it is in that form. We only have y this side. Then we start by negative 2x then followed by 8 which is the c. So you can see from this one here, we can assume this is m1. The gradient of this one, let us call it m1. You take whatever is in front of x which is 1 over 2. So if you come here, you check the gradient, let us call it m2. So whatever is in front of x is negative 2. So we are saying that when two lines are perpendicular, if you take the product of their gradient, which is m1 times m2, I'm supposed to get negative 1. So in our case, we have 1 over 2 times negative 2. So if you simplify this one, your answer will be negative 1. And therefore, the two are perpendicular. The two, the two equations are perpendicular. Now, let us go to the second one. We have this one and this one here. So the same, we rearrange this one in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So take x the other side, you're going to have y is equals to negative x. And then this one already is in that form. So here, you can easily pick the gradient. The gradient is negative 1. So when you come here, the gradient is, which is m2, let us call it m2 is 1. So this is m1 is negative whatever is in front of x that is the gradient so the same here whatever is in front of x is one so if you take negative one times negative negative one times one we get is negative one so therefore these two are perpendicular so those two are perpendicular so i want you to try this one and see if these two are perpendicular if you multiply and get the gradient is negative one then you have shown that the two are perpendicular. If they are not, if the product is not negative one, then the two are not perpendicular. So thank you. Let us meet in the next lesson.